observing how animals sleep, I do think offers some remarkable insights into the diversity and the adaptable nature of sleep. The diversity of ways in which species will have sleep at the bottom line impresses to me that sleep is so non-negotiable. If there was any way that the evolutionary process could have found to remove sleep out of the equation, considering how maladaptive it seems to be, then it would have. But the fact that it remains so critical, expressed by way of species getting it in all sorts of different ways, one half of the brain, other half, we haven't spoken about unihemispheric sleep, polyphasic versus monophasic, one long bout, lots of small bouts. The fact that it still persists in every species that we've studied to date, I think suggests that it is just this absolute biological necessity rather than some negotiable luxury. 